What is happening, everybody? James Hancock here. I'm back to do a reaction video to the latest clip from season two of The Boys, which is coming out on Amazon on September 4th. This is one of my most anticipated shows of the year. It's based on the comic by Garth Ennis and artist Derek Robertson. The big news out of Comic-Con today is that it has already been renewed for a season three. Amazon must really like what they're seeing, which makes me excited and cautious all at once because I thought they did a fantastic job with season one, but frequently I felt like they were kind of tapping the brakes on Garth Ennis's signature brand of humor. And if you've read the comics, you know that Garth Ennis has the kind of humor that is very upsetting to some people, especially people with delicate sensibilities, people like critics or executives running studios. And anytime you see a big corporation like Amazon too excited about a show that makes me think that perhaps this show has not completely embraced the spirit of the comics in season two, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope season two is just completely insane and bananas. I have to admit that I was really encouraged a few weeks ago by that clip featuring Black Noir. Black Noir, for reasons that I can't unveil, but for people who've read the comic, they will know, but Black Noir is an essential character in the ongoing saga of the boys. So I think there's a lot of reasons to be very hopeful that season two is absolutely going to kick ass, but there are just so many great characters in the show. It's a weird thing where, like, Huey... I'm not liking at all. I like the way he was depicted in the comic much more because he was basically Simon Pegg. But I think, if possible, Homelander's better in the show than he was in the comic. There's something about the way the actor portrays the character where Homelander, he's so goddamn funny and terrifying and menacing. He just, it's, it's a pitch perfect kind of evil version of Superman. And I don't know if we'll ever see a better version of an evil Superman. But maybe now's as good a time as any to stop yammering my head off and just go ahead and see what this uh, what this new clip is all about. So let's start this sucker in three, two, one. Yes, they are going up against uh, the basically yeah, the boys equivalent of Aquaman. No, Moby Dick. <laughs> Butcher, what are you doing? That was kind of gross and kind of cool, but I have a feeling, I don't know enough about physics to know if this is the case or not, but if you were to ride a motorboat toward a sperm whale, I imagine that the mass of the sperm whale and the density, I think the motorboat would just disintegrate into a thousand pieces and everybody would just be killed <laughs> with whiplash, slamming them against the side of it. But for the sake of gore and being grotesque, that's fine. We'll see uh, what, I guess... I'm kind of spazzing. I just had a Red Bull a little while ago, so it's hard to finish my sentences. So I need to learn to close what I'm saying before I start something else. I guess my point is about the boys when it comes to the gore and the humor. There's like fake outrage gore and humor, and there's real outrage humor. Or I guess there's like real offensive gore, and there's real offensive humor. And I worry sometimes that perhaps it'll do the superficial version of this kind of offensive material where you'll see a lot of gore and dick jokes and fart jokes and that sort of thing, but you won't see any content or potentially won't see any content that might genuinely upset people where you might see the entire critical community kind of get up in arms. And I feel like if you're going to really embrace the spirit of Garth Ennis, and if you read comics like Preacher, you'll know what I'm talking about, but Garth Ennis had... Let's just say Garth Ennis has always marched to the beat of his own drum. He doesn't care what people think about him. His, his, his place in the Hall of Fame of comics is already assured. And I think that if you were to adapt the boys as written, that Amazon would like, get sued and they would cancel the show. And it would just be a giant controversy. And I just would love to see the show embrace that spirit of controversy that's so imbued in the comic, but we shall see. I mean, it's only a couple weeks away, and like I said, I, I know I'm sounding negative. It's only because I know just how much more outrageous and crazy the boys can be than it already is. I enjoyed season one, but they've got, 
I guess there's just there's a lot of potential for growth in terms of the style and approach to the story. So I'm rooting for them all the way. Don't misinterpret my uh, my comments as in any way, shape, or form as being like a, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I just know that there's potential for growth in terms of um, where this show can go in season two, as well as with season three, which who knows when they'll get a chance to shoot it, but states and cities are starting to open up for filming again, so if season two is beloved, I have a feeling they'll dive right into shooting season three pretty quickly, but I'm thrilled that Amazon has so much faith and confidence in this material, and hopefully it'll lead to more of Garth Ennis' comics being adapted into shows or movies. One that would probably never get done, but would be really, really cool, would basically any of his Punisher arc like born was basically like his origin story where you're seeing him in Vietnam. That's a really gruesome, dark, but very satisfying Punisher story. Garth Ennis is the greatest writer ever to uh, capture the adventures of Frank Castle. And he probably he's probably written more issues of Punisher than any other writer alive. And Thor Vikings is another favorite. But yeah, but Garth Ennis, I can't say enough about him. I'm a massive fan. I mean, just go on Wikipedia or look up his bibliography and just start throwing darts and find, finding cool material. But you really can't go wrong. But obviously, Preacher is one of the all-time greats. But I'm rambling now. I'm getting off topic. Uh, boy Season 2, bring it on. Looks fucking cool. And I, I guess this is a lesson for me that doing four videos in one day, I just start rambling incoherently. And I need to probably write out an outline before I start recording my thoughts for the internet. But I hope you enjoyed this reaction and review. If you want to talk more about Garth Ennis or comics or the boys, you can always find me on Twitter at Colbrax. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and all that good stuff. But thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. But more importantly, as always, onwards and upwards.